This is problem number five from section 5.6. It says find the area of the region enclosed by the curves y equals x squared minus two and y equals seven. So this is again another problem where they're not having us find the area from the x-axis to the function, they're having us find the area between two functions. And not only that, they're not giving us the x values that we're going to integrate over. Like, it's not telling us integrate from x equal 2 to 4. They're wanting us to figure this out. So I think to start this problem, what we want to do is we want to find where does this function cross this function? Well, if we think about that, where does this function cross this function? Well, it's going to cross this function when they're equal to each other. So let's set them equal to each other and essentially find the roots, find the spots where they intersect. So we're going to say 7 equals x squared minus 2. Add the 2 over, that's 9 equals x squared. Uh, square root each side, we get plus and minus 3 equals x. So that tells us that our roots are our areas that we cross, right? Our solutions are plus and minus 3. So we want to look at the interval, so interval from negative 3 to 3, because that's where they cross. Remember, this is a parabola, so it looks like this, and then we have a line through it. So we're looking at something that's like so. And we're looking for this area there. All right, so they tell us negative 3 to 3, we know that we can use this right here, which says if f of x is greater than g of x throughout a, b, and both are continuous, we can say that we're going to take f of x minus g of x and integrate it from our interval, which is negative 3 to 3. Okay, so let's set this up. I'll just use this to set this up, and then I'm going to get rid of it. So integral from negative 3 to 3. f of x, well that's going to be my upper function, so that's going to be the 7. So I'm going to say that 7 minus g of x, which is uh, x squared minus 2 dx. Okay, let's see how this works. So we're going to uh, Say that this equals the integral from negative 3 to 3. Distribute the negative, so we get 7 minus x squared plus 2 dx, which is the integral from negative 3 to 3. Uh, if we add the 2 and the 7, that'd be negative x squared plus uh, 9. We do the integral. So we can actually integrate, no so use substitution here at all. We'll end up with negative x cubed over 3 plus 9x, and that's from negative 3 to 3. We're going to evaluate that and say that we know that this is going to equal negative uh, 3 cubed over, and I better put this in parentheses because I know that I'm doing it 3 being cubed plus 9 times 3 minus, and we're subtracting negative, uh, negative 3 cubed over 3 plus 9 times negative 3. So that's going to equal negative 27 over 3 plus 27 minus, and here we're going to get negative 3 cubed, that's negative 27, so it's actually 27 over 3 because of the other negative, minus 27. So then we're going to distribute this negative, and we're going to get negative 27 over 3 plus 27 minus 27 over 3 plus 27. Now I know that the uh, negative 27 over 3, that's negative 9 plus 27 minus 9 plus 27. So this is going to give me 
18 and 18, which is 36. So the area of the region enclosed by the curves, uh, y equals x squared minus 2 a parabola, and y equals 7, a horizontal line, the area of that is 36.